It was my first stay in Azerbaijan and we had a partner university which is uh, Kafka's university. Um, I think it has a really good reputation that university and so what I felt as a first difference was that <laughs> a very my first impression that everybody was very formally dressed. <laughs> so I will always check myself and I soon realized that it was not uh, considered to be appropriate to wear jeans at work. Uh, um, so that was my first impression that I realized that there was um, it was not allowed to, for ladies to wear a headscarf. So there, even so it's an Islamic country, Azerbaijan, it was not allowed for the girls to wear a headscarf and that was so that was real interesting for me how the university culture worked. So how everybody behaved, and I realized that it was really a uh, very formal behavior. Student kind of approached the teachers in a very formal way. They kept distance, addressed them very properly, did dare to enter the office, knocked at the door, and waited to be called in. So it was a very formal atmosphere, in a kind of way. But then I was like, really surprised then when we had made for example an excursion we spent a day together teachers and students that they had a very casual way to to talk to each other and they knew a lot of things about each other which i was really amazed that for example the uh, teacher explained to me that this student has a problem with uh, the other student and he comes from this other family and um, they knew a lot from each other about family life and each and everything. And so I was really surprised because I don't know a lot about my students. I don't share any private information with them. And I don't know how they live and so on. So that was really surprising because on the one hand side, I felt that it's a uh, strong hierarchy and distance, physical distance and formal distance between the teacher and student and on the other hand side, so if you leave in a picture, if you leave the university building, you leave your roads, you leave your roads inside and then outside you have different uh, roads and um, distance to each other. Well, one challenge, put it like that, I face it as a challenge, was talking about race. So we had, I was uh, teaching in the health, public health department, and this was in South Carolina, and when we start talking about migration and health and uh, has disparities and things like that. We always came up discussing or finding that most differences uh, have to do with race. And then I kind of tried or I, I wanted the students to explain me what race meant to them in their daily life in America, but that was really difficult. And I really struggled with that because I found that there was kind of no real way to, to really express that. We had, I had uh, white and black students in class, African Americans, it was a really mixed class, but I realized that it's really difficult to explain that to a foreigner. Uh, because kind, I think on one hand side say they couldn't imagine that I don't know anything about race and always when I try to explain them that race is a word that we don't use in German language we talk about a lot of things but not race so and I wanted them to explain that to me I face real difficulties with, with that word race and maybe now Black Lives Matter changed a lot in the way that people um, are more encouraged to talk about that, or are more able to talk about that. 
So I think that was one really difficult thing for me, and I, I, I had not been aware of that. So I studied one semester in America before, in Detroit, and it was also a mixed class, and we had a lot of topics. But I, I feel at that time it was. It's, was not a topic at university. Not, even in, in anthropology it was not a real topic, talking about race in America. But now things changed and so it was a topic, but I felt that people had not no words, at least my students could not explain that to me and I was kind of helpless. <laughs> and so that was something which was really... I feel I have to, to return once and to do it better. <laughs>